What's up guys? Uh, I got a lot of questions and interesting things happened on YouTube yesterday so I'm gonna make a really random video to address them. First of all, my arched arms that I make for the Rubicons. Um, lots of people have been asking, I don't know why it's out of this video, these do fit um, 2015 and 16 Rancher 420 IRS's and they fit them because um, it's the same part number, right, for the lower arms. The IRS Rancher 15 and 16 is the same parts essentially as the IRS Rubicon uh, 15, 16, 17. Um, they'll fit the 17 as well actually. So 15, 16, and 17, I can make arched arms for the Rubicon or the 420 IRS. Um, that's these guys right here. And uh, using bigger Himes now, their Himes have been upgraded because, you know, bulletproofness, all the ones I've shipped out are using nice big 12 millimeter Himes with big high misalignment uh, offset washers. But yep, those are the arms. Um, these are getting shipped out once I put the bigger Himes on them. And, uh, yep, they're doing good. Um, also, I posted a video yesterday. A lot of you guys may have saw. It was a Can-Am that tried to pull out a Razor, uh, which is not a good idea because the Razor was huge and very heavy. And there's really only one way that could have ended. Um, but what was funny with the video was not only did the Can-Am break, the guy then held it to the floor and made sure that whatever broke was completely unrebuildable which is just a typical behavior you see out of a Can-Am owner. Um, they act like they don't care about their bike and they ride the show of it and they're all proud of themselves and the same guy will go and whine and talk all kinds of shit and beg you to take down the video because he's embarrassed. So uh, that, that's why that video got taken down. Uh, but you know, that's just the typical uh, Can-Am owner attitude thing you have to deal with uh, out in the trails. But, you know, not everyone can be as cool as Honda guys. We know that. 300 is doing great. I'm playing with the tuning on it a little bit. Um, one of the other questions I was getting is, can you make arched arms like these for a uh, uh, first gen Rancher 420 IRS? The answer is yes, I can make arched arms for anything. A lot of people ask me that, but I'm located uh, in a different area now, so I need a bike to build off of. Uh, I'm going to have some arched arms for P500s, um, rear arch lower arms. They're going to be pretty cheap because they're easy because there's no shock mount, so it makes the geometry a lot simpler and you can make the arm a little thinner because you don't have to deal with carrying the weight of the bike. So arched arms for P500 will be out soon. I'm also going to have arched arms for Rubicon or uh, late model 420 like these with um, a one and it's about a one and three quarter inch um, rake built into them. So moving the axle center line back, going to have that on a couple weeks. Um, so if you're interested, you know, a lot of you guys know my email now. Uh, it's Christian the mud puppy at gmail.com. Puppy has two P's in it. Someone had a hard time with that. Um, just like my YouTube channel. Uh, so email me there. Also, I have gear reductions in stock. I've got a 54 for a 300. I've got a couple 35s, a couple 15s for Foremans and 420s and Rubicons and all that good stuff. Um, I'm also doing a lot of other work right now on the side. I'm um, getting my shop thing going um, and other things. But top ends, swing arm stretches, you know, maintenance, seals, whatever. Any of that four-wheeler stuff, uh, if you're in the area, shoot me an email if you need some work done. Um, I'm not going to say I'm the best, but uh, definitely, definitely know what I'm doing. Um, yeah, but uh, it's a random video, answering a few questions I've been getting a lot. I'm trying to think of some other ones. Oh yeah, also, someone asked about arched arms for a 300. I can make arched lower arms for a 300 very easily now. Um, I don't even really need a bike to build off of because I have a 300 sitting here. But if you want to use stock axles, um, I have another bike I can use. I have a stock 300. Um, so if you want arched arms for 300, definitely can do that. Um, I can do swing arm stretches, uh, custom shock mounts, uh, axle paddle mods, you know, all that good stuff. Just uh, if you have questions, let me know. I usually respond to emails in about 15 minutes. I'm pretty good about that. So if you email me at the email address, uh, definitely help you out. Also, that email address is for... Uh, business inquiries only. If you have questions, um, there's a whole YouTube page devoted to answering questions. It's uh, Mud Puppy Question and Answer. It's on Facebook. It's got like, I don't know, 800 people on or something like that. A lot of them are really knowledgeable, so they'll answer the question a lot of times before I can get to it. And I'll almost always chime in and uh, put my two cents in there. But uh, yeah, so if there's anything you get out of this video, questions go on Christian. Uh, not Christian. Questions go on Mud Puppy Question and Answer on Facebook. Business inquiries, or you know, we need work done. Um, go to Christian the Mud Puppy at gmail.com. Yep. All right. I'm um, have some good riding videos for you guys later. I'm gonna go to Holopal this week, and uh, mud rides coming up. But we need some rain, so that's why I've been riding too much. It's been a serious drought down here.